Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock and this is Captain's Vlog. In today's video, we're going to be going through all the safety equipment, including the fire extinguishers, the BA suits, the life jackets, the life rafts, the immersion suits for their annual service and their annual survey. We're just going to open the box of flares up so you guys can see what we have inside. And so here we have our smokes. Now these do have um, a lifespan. So this one in particular is expiring in February 2020. We're now in January 2020. The vessel is out of the water. Um, so when the surveyor comes, he was going to bring new smokes for us. We have two of these, one and two. Then we have our parachute flares here. Now these expire in June 2020. Now if you can see that. So I know it's... Um, six months away from when this video is being recorded uh, but uh, because we'll be having charters in June it's our season we'll be replacing all the parachute flares as well and finally we have the handheld flares which also expire in February uh, 20 you can see that focus you can see it expires in February 2020 as well just get that focus there there we go so all these will be replaced so we have six of the parachute flares and we have four five six of the handheld flares and two smokes so these get put back in the container and then when um the gentleman comes he's going to bring new ones and have them replaced and then sign them off as that they've all been replaced and that we'll be good to go also what he's going to be doing he's going to be checking all our inflatable uh, life jackets which are these ones here and so he'll be inspecting all of those we have with a wall and with the chase boat like 30 life jackets on board inflatable life jackets and then finally you can see behind me there we've got the extinguishers which uh he's going to come and inspect as well so we can collect everything together and um have it all ready for him for his arrival so it'll be all very easy he'll test everything make sure everything's in in check and then uh, go from there
And now finally we have the final signature here on the sun deck. And there we have it. So, part of our annual safety survey is we have to service the BA suits, which are located in this cupboard here. So let's get them out. Basically, we have two BA kits with four bottles. So the, the compressed air, so we've got four of these. And they get also serviced um, every year. You can see, the tickets here, turn it upside down for you so you can see. So you can see that the last service here was January 2019. So now that we're January 2020, it needs to be serviced. Two. And then in this bag here, we basically have the firefighting outfit. So the jacket, the pants, the boots, the gloves, the helmet, the mask. Um, this is all brand new pretty much and uh, you might just want to check the regulator on the mask but everything else uh, doesn't need to be serviced we just have to check it once we do our monthly fire drills once we're back in the water one extra canister and then the second extra canister that's a total of four and there we have it and this is what the masks look like there we have it, full face mask goes on your face, connected to the uh, compressed air, and then you've got uh, clean air to breathe when you're in uh, areas full of smoke or potential fires. And then the rest of the kit, he doesn't need to check, and so he just put it back into the uh, BA cupboard. And then here you can see, let me show you, that we have signage, to let everybody know. Everybody knows where it's all uh, located. Um, so yeah, let's crack on. So I always would recommend when you're storing the compressed air bottles there is that you line them down horizontally uh, because if they're standing up vertically and they fall over you never know it could knock something activating and it can be very very dangerous. Anyway so those are the four bottles they're ready now for the service. Slab the engineer just helping me with the final Extinguishers, he just got the extinguishers from the garage, from the engine room and from the AC room. Then after that we're then going to move on to the life raft where we'll have a crane lift the life rafts and uh, put it onto the ground which will be taken away for its uh, annual service. Before we dive into the next part of this video I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. From design, business, freelance and much more. And they offer over 30,000 classes to explore. Now, I want to kick off 2020 by learning some new skills thanks to Skillshare. I've taken a class on advanced drone videography. It's really helped me to better understand using a drone for those really, really cool aerial shots. Before I took the Skillshare class, my drone flying was good, but it was pretty stagnant. I wasn't learning anything new. And thanks to this Skillshare class, I'm learning so much more and I realized I didn't know anything really about drone flying. Skillshare is incredibly affordable at under $10 a month for a membership. And you won't have to take out a costly loan to learn. Right now, Skillshare is offering two months of membership completely free, but only when you click on my link in the description. Guys, you have nothing to lose. So sign up today to make 2020 the year you explore new skills and strengthen your passions with Skillshare. So basically we have two life rafts on the port side and two life rafts on the starboard side. I'm just gonna remove the cover, remove the pole which is holding it into place and have it ready so we can move it onto the sun deck aft.
right here. So these are the life rafts. They are category A life rafts and they are capable of holding up to 10 people. So in total, if you, if you count up all four life rafts, we've got 10, 20, 30, 40 people that we can cater for. Bear in mind, we can only cruise with 12 guests and with eight crew, so total 20 people. So we can actually fit double that. The reason we have that is in case the life raft is unable to deploy on one side because it might be listing or um, you know be heading over too far to one side, you can't launch and you know, launch on one side. So you can still have everybody in the safety of the life rafts. Now these can be deployed either manually or automatically. With the automatic, you have a thing called a hydrostatic release unit, which is this unit here, which basically activates when it goes down to about two and a half, three meters. There is a blade inside which gets released on a spring. It cuts the line, allowing the life raft to float freely. Otherwise, what you can do is we have this orange rope here. You pull the tug on this relatively hard. The backboard here folds over and then releases the life raft into the sea. And that's our four life rafts. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna move them out of the way, put them on the aft section of the sun deck, ready for the crane. Now, the crane is gonna be just, as you can see, this yellow crane here, you can see it's on a, on a strop there. The crane will come all the way over the boat. We're gonna move the life rafts here. So we've got no, nothing blocking above us here. And then once it's on the ground here, the crane will then come over on the strops and lift all four life rafts up. Um, so b before then, Slav, the engineer and I are gonna move the life rafts to here. They're quite heavy, so luckily fitting very strong today. So very tiring work, but out of breath. But that's the four life rafts ready for the crane driver to come either this afternoon or tomorrow morning. It's waiting for confirmation. Lift it off the boat, then we'll put some pallets down on the ground, rest them on the ground, so they're all ready for the surveyor to come take them away and do the uh, do all necessary checks. All right, so one other thing that needs to be serviced annually is the immersion suits, which are located on the four parts of the sun deck. So Slav and I are going to grab them now, take them down to the main deck and have them all set up and ready. These here are all the immersion suits. So you put them on in case the captain orders the abandoned ship, or I order the abandoned ship. You go into those, they keep you warm in the water. I did put those on, then you go into the, into the life raft. So we'll take them down back to the main deck and uh, I'm ready for the service. If some of you are wondering where the rest of the crew are at the moment, there's just three of us on board Slab, the chief engineer, Jiv, the chief stew, and myself, the captain. The other crew are either on leave or on holiday uh, because it's now, you know, it's, it's winter. So, this is the time of year when crew get their time off, and then they'll be back in, in the coming months, uh, back on board, and then start getting ready for the season.
So what they're going to do, the crane goes all the way to the very front of the, of the hangar here. So bring it all the way to the end, drop it down. So then from the hangar to the car, it's a lot less of a distance. They're quite heavy to carry. So as you can see behind me, they are actually lifting two at a time, which will actually make the whole operation half the time. So the crane operator at the moment, he's just gone down to the ground. You can see what he's doing. Uh, I'm staying well clear because we don't want those things to land on, on your head because it'll be a little bit sore. Quite interesting, it's actually really convenient because they've got one, two, three, four, five, you know, biggish boats here. So for any kind of crane operation, they can actually go from one end of the building all the way to the other end of the building. Um, you know, in case they might want to lift not just life rafts, they could, you know, some people could be working on their satellite antennas, um, radar, you know, to remove the radar mast and things like that. So I think it's moving now, away it goes. So it's pretty cool, as you can see, it's quite a cool operation that's happening. Look at the crane moving with the life rafts between, just there hanging between a couple of super yachts. It's pretty cool. I would have done actually is I would have actually kept it high up and then move it along high up because then you've got less swing because the longer the line the more swing you have so why then leave it <coughs> high up I'm not sure maybe you guys will know let me know in the comments box below There we have it guys, they'll repeat the operation one more time to lower down the two remaining life rafts. Tomorrow the technician will come, send them to the service center, they'll have them serviced, signed and stamped, ready for another season. As always guys, I really do hope you enjoyed uh, today's video. If you like the video, don't forget to click that like button because it really, really does help us. Do consider subscribing to the channel. I look forward to seeing you all next video.